FTV enjoyed that friendly? Obviously, I was expecting a win. You know, Emirates should have won, innit? I mean, the amount of chances we created. I think Eddie as well. He had an easy header that he missed. We missed a lot of chances in that game, but it was good to see us creating a lot of chances. Yeah, obviously, Leon, like, this is a Leon team without Fakir, you know what I mean? One of their main mm. guys. Moussa Dembele didn't start, so obviously I came into the game, you know, positive. Right now, there's good energy going around the club, you know, the signings that we're supposed to be making. But, again, our defence let us down. But, I feel like, obviously, yeah, we're signing Pepe, that sounds great, 70 to 80 million, but I feel like we should be focused on signing some centre-backs. We definitely need some full-backs. Tierney, I don't know how it's taking so long when all they want is 25 million. <laughs> it's beyond me. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know the negotiations. As you can see now, they're spending a lot of money at the moment. Yeah, you know what I mean? So two maybe, maybe. Just two may more million. Celtic, Celtic only want two more million. That's it, just give it to them. Well, they're outlaying a lot of money elsewhere, so maybe they're saying, yo, listen. Well, we need a left yeah? back though. We need the yeah. right back as well. We definitely need a centre back. Do you get know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, are we going to have to outscore teams next season if we get Pepe? Are we going to have to outscore Maybe that's teams? the plan. But, but, <laughs> that's what we relied on last season. And what happened? It let us down. We was in the, in the Europa League finals expecting us to outscore Chelsea with Aubameyang, Lacazette and Ozil. Yeah, that defence let us down, you know what I mean? When you, when, you start, when you start to look on that team on paper, let's, uh, let's just uh, forget about the uh, defence for a, a moment, although you can't forget about defence. But when you start to look on it on paper, it's got a good, if they do bring in Pepe and you've got Lacazette, a Bamiyang, you've got Urzil, you've got this guy Sabeos now, you know, um, Gwenduzi, Torreira. Yeah, I mean, you're starting to look at, yeah, 100%. you know, Mikatir and our thought played well today. You're starting to look at a very, very good team going forward. So you think yeah, going fixing forward, that no, defence? Going forward, like, there's not really an issue there. I'm confident with our midfielder creativity, our midfield possess. Going forward, I'm, I'm actually confident with that, you know what I mean? I know we won't have an issue scoring goals. Last season, we scored, we scored more goals than a lot of clubs, you know what I mean? A lot of big clubs. So it's like, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about conceding, you know what I mean? Like, we conceded four to Chelsea in the Europa League final. That's unacceptable, you know what I mean? There's no way we should be conceding four, you know what I mean? So it's like, I hoped the whole negotiation team, all Raul's, they're all focused on the defence. Uh, Unai, I know Unai, obviously, it's not really all up to him, you know what I mean? They're all working as a team. Now Edu's here, so thank God, you get me some invincible DNA. Obviously, Jumberg is the assistant manager. I feel like that's a good start. But I feel like they should be focused more on bringing in defenders, because that was one of the main reasons why we, uh, that led to our downfall last and, season. And, and same question as I asked the other guys. Yeah. Would you sacrifice, it hasn't been done yet, but if, would you sacrifice Pepe, yeah. the signing of Nicolas Pepe for... A boring defender, but a defender that's going to do the job. Depending on who's the defender we're talking about. Would you about. sacrifice? We could oh. get a, a proper, hardcore defender in there okay, at cool. centre back instead of Nicolas Pepe. All right, cool. Not Kuli Bali, no. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. If, if it's not your, if you're it's dreaming not your, big now, man. If, <laughs> if it's not your Kuli Bali's, you know, your Van Dyke type of defenders, you know what I mean? That when we know will do a job, then no. You know what I mean? No, because I don't want us to just get any centre back that will still get, do nonsense. I want us to sign a centre back that. That's rated that a lot of clubs actually would like, you know what I mean? We need a centre-back to come in and actually help us. Like, it's, it's got to that level. Socrates is like the only guy I feel like, like today I think he played well, you know what I mean? He's like the only guy that to that level is actually a good centre-back, you know what I mean? That can actually, he's got that physical presence, he's got that aggression, he's got the whole character, he's got everything about him that, that makes a centre-back, you know what I mean? Mm. Holding, very impressive last season, but he's injured now. So we can't rely on holding, there's too much pressure on him. He needs to relax, you know, just get back to his fitness. So we should get a centre-back to bring okay. him in. Obviously, Mustafi, I don't know how he's still here. <laughs> I, I, wake up every, I, I wake up every day, I check Twitter just to make sure there's links of someone trying to sign Mustafi. But no one wants this guy, like, it's mad. Like, no one wants him, no one wants Jack Ozil, 350k, no one's going to play that. But you know, Ozil, obviously, when he wants to play good, he'll play good. You know what I mean? It's Ozil, you know, he's dyed his hair blonde now. Get me, hopefully that's a change. Obviously, shout out to Kolasinac as well. You know what? See, Kolasinac let me down in the Europa League final with his end product, even though I was, I was supporting him last season. And I felt that game, after watching that, I felt like, yeah, we definitely need an effort. That's why with Tierney, watching clips of him, his end product, second to none, I love it. He's like another Robertson, you know what I mean? He's got potential that I love. That's why I want to get him done. But after his heroics with Ozil, I think he should get a new contract.